Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vector problem, they tell us that each of the following vectors is given in terms of its x and its y components. They ask us to draw the vector, label an angle that specifies the vector's direction, and then find the magnitude and the direction. So in the last few problems that we've done, we were given a vector and asked to calculate the x and the y components. Here, they're giving us x and y components and we're asking us to work the other way to get the magnitude and the direction, of course. Let's draw both of these vectors first, and then we'll calculate the magnitude and the direction for both of them. For A, they tell us that it's going 20 meters per second in the positive x direction. So we'll say that is 20, and then it's going twice as much, 40, in the positive y direction. So when we draw over the parallelogram, This will be the resultant vector for A. We'll call this one vector V, since that's what they said in the problem here, Vx and Vy. Now let's do the same thing for part B. We have positive 2 meters per second squared in the x direction, so that one's the same, only now this one is going in the negative y direction, negative 6. That one will come down like that. So we'll do the same thing here and here. Now here is the resultant vector for part B, which will be vector A. We have both of the resultant vectors drawn now, so we have an idea of where it will be. Let's find the magnitude of those. They ask us to label an angle to specify the vector's direction, and you can think of it in two ways. For vector V, or for part A, we could say we're going to look at this angle right here, we'll call that one theta, or we could say that we're going to look at this one here, and we'll call that one phi. Same thing down here for B, we could call this one theta, or we could look at this one here for phi. So both of these are fine, it doesn't matter which one you choose, as long as you label it correctly, that you're a certain number of degrees from the negative y-axis or below the positive x-axis. For this one, it's a certain number of degrees for phi above the x-axis, or for theta, it's a certain number of degrees to the right of the positive y-axis. Let's label the x and the y components just so we don't get confused when we're doing all these. This one they say v sub x is 20 meters per second. The y component is 40 meters per second. And then for part b, the x component is 2 meters per second squared, and the y component is negative 6 meters per second squared. For a, we'll be using Pythagorean's theorem to find the magnitude of this. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In this case, we'll be looking for c squared. So if we take the square root of both sides, we have c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. For a, it doesn't matter which one we choose, I'll just say it's 20. So we have 20 squared plus b squared is 40 squared. So the magnitude for vector a is going to be the square root of 20 squared plus 40 squared. So the magnitude is 20 root 5, which will be 44.7, which will round up to 45. So we have 45 meters per second is the resultant magnitude for vector v. If we do the exact same thing for b, the magnitude will be using Pythagorean's theorem, and it will be the same formula as right here. So c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. a will say is negative 6 squared. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one you do. The units are, of course, meters per second squared for this one, plus 2 meters per second squared squared. We have the square root of negative 6 squared plus b, we said was 2 squared or 4. We have 2 root 10, which is going to be 6.3. So that one's magnitude is 6.3 meters per second squared. So now that we have the magnitude for both of these, we need to indicate the direction. So going back to part A, there's two ways you can do it. We can use theta or we can use phi. Doesn't matter which one. I'll show you both of them 
just to show you that it doesn't matter which way you go as long as you are clear in your answer which one you're choosing. We'll be using trigonometry functions and now we have all three components. We have the hypotenuse for this triangle for theta. We have the adjacent, which is the y component, and we have the opposite, excuse me, for the x component. I'll be using tangent since we have the opposite and the adjacent given in the problem. So tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. We want to solve for the angle, so we'll take the inverse tangent of both sides. So we'll take the inverse tangent of both sides. So theta will be equal to the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, which is the inverse tangent of opposite, in this case for theta, is 20. And then the adjacent is 40. So we can simplify this to 1 half because 20 divided by 40 is 1 half. So we have the inverse tangent of 1 half is 26.5 degrees. And we need to indicate what that is. And that is right of the positive y axis. Now for phi, we'll do the exact same thing. And we can use tangent again. And it will be the same equation as right here that we simplified. So phi will be equal to the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. In this case, for phi, the opposite is 40. So we have phi is equal to inverse tangent of 40, and the adjacent now is 20. So you can see it just flip-flopped. So we have the inverse tangent now of 2 over 1. So we have 63 degrees above the positive x-axis. Same thing down here, we'll be doing it for theta and for phi. It's the exact same formula. So we have the inverse tangent of opposite for theta is negative 6 divided by the adjacent, which is a positive 2. And then for this one, for phi, we have inverse tangent of opposite, which is 2 over adjacent is negative 6. So we have inverse tangent of negative 6 divided by 2, and that will give us a 72 degrees. I'm not going to put negative 72 because I'm going to say it's below the positive x axis. So this information right here takes place of the negative because it's telling us which orientation it's going. Now before we solve the other one, I want to show you one thing. It's the same thing for right here. But these two obviously are opposites to each other. So we have a 90 degree angle right here. So whatever this angle is, if we take 90 and subtract from it, that will give us phi. So 90 minus 72 is going to be 18. So now when we take the inverse tangent of 2 divided by 6, you'll see 18 degrees. And it's to the right of the negative y axis. So here are all the answers for the magnitude and the direction for the vectors for part A and for part B.